out and about Marathon Town with Mr. Marathon himself, Mike Pudo. Hello everybody, Mike Pudo, Mr. Marathon, and our Out and About Marathon series today takes us to the Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust and the Museum of Natural History. This is one awesome place. We're gonna go inside, talk to John, the operations manager, and find out all the different projects and all the different programs that they have going on. Let's go inside and see what he's got to say. Come on. Hello, everybody. We're talking with John, who's the operations manager. John, thanks for having us. Oh, thank you very much for coming out. We appreciate it. Give us a little history of this program, because I know we got 60 some odd acres back here, and it's just, it's a beautiful site, and it's a hardwood hammock, but tell us a little bit about the programs and how things got started. Uh, back in 1989, uh, a group of citizens in the Florida Keys Land Trust put together uh, enough money to put a bid together to buy the 63 acre parcel. It was going to be developed, there was going to be a shopping center along the highway and a housing complex out back. And so a lot of the concerned citizens pulled the resources and they were able to preserve this. And the uh, Crane Point Museum and Nature Center opened to the public in 1990. And since the opening, the, uh, the goal of Crane Point and the Land Trust has been to promote environmental stewardship and the cultural history of the Florida Keys. Excellent. Now, John, I know that we have a lot of different programs uh, going on in the museum and also with uh, the Land and Sea Trust, uh, you know, trying to work on conservation and protecting and preserving this beautiful hardwood hammock. And uh, what programs do you have, in other words, in reference to the schools or, you know, having people come over, that kind of thing? Right now, we, uh, we offer tours, uh, guided tours by our volunteers. Uh, those run pretty much every day of the week. We generally do two in the morning and two in the afternoon. Uh, with uh, school groups, we've got a great open door policy with Monroe County School District. Uh, they can come here and participate in field trips at no charge to the school district. And we probably have about between 1,000 and 1,500 students visit Crane Point a year. Wow. That's kind of neat, and especially the uh, uh, the younger kids. I have, I've seen the school buses out here many times, where uh, you know you see from you know I know you go from uh, they go from pre K to fifth grade over at the elementary school, and there's a lot of buses that come in here, and uh, what a way to hit the kids with what's happening in their community and the environment at a young age. Well, exactly. You know, so many kids nowadays just don't have the opportunity to spend a time spend time in an environment like this. So. What we want to do, we want to get them out here as early as possible when they're when they're young, so we can start to cultivate an appreciation of, of what we have out here, of what we're trying to preserve. Well, and I know that uh, the building itself was the old Indian Museum at mm -hmm. one time, and uh, and again inside the building. Uh, they have all sorts of things about the Middle Keys and the Land and Sea Trust and just historically speaking, the reef picture is really great inside mm -hmm. with all the fish and all that and, and uh, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just unbelievable uh, the message that is given here and we have the pond for the fish and of course we have the uh, the house that uh, the Rotary Club had brought in mm -hmm. and refurbished and uh, and then there's a, you can watch the video inside that tells about Crane Point. Right, we've got a, a great orientation film that we usually recommend people watch first. It's just about eight or nine minutes long and it, it tells a, a history of how Crane Point came to be from the first owner to uh, to the to its current status. And our museum, we've got a nice museum that talks about the cultural and the natural history of the Middle Keys in particular, going any, everywhere from uh, from the, uh, the Native Americans that were first in the Middle Keys all the way up to the construction of the railroad. And uh, we've also got a, um, a histor our historic site, that's the Adderley House, the George Adderley House. That's um, the oldest house in the Middle Keys that's yep. still standing. And it was a, one of the first permanent settle settlements in Marathon. And it's a, it's a neat old house. It's a, a unique construction method called Tabby. It's a really primitive form of concrete. And it's been standing since 1906. <laughs> Holy mackerel. And it survived uh, a lot of different hurricanes and a lot of and storms without it, a doubt, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it survived the big one in 1935 and Hurricane Donna and most recently Hurricane Wilma. And uh, Mr. Adderley built a really sturdy house. It's, it's stood up to a lot of abuse. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, again, that's uh, a neat family that was here. And, and again, with uh, the Crane family and everybody else coming in and getting the property and preserving it. And it was nice to be able to get the community together in order to purchase the properties to be able to preserve it. Right. Well. It, you know, it all started back in 1950 when Francis and Mary Crane bought this property and a, another parcel from George Adderley and his wife Olivia. And the the Cranes were were conservationists and preservationists, mm -hmm. and they they really realized what a what a treasure they had here, especially in light of the development that was taking place at the time. So the Cranes did a whole lot to preserve this, and they had some some deed restrictions in place that would help to prevent development. But uh, you know, fortunately, uh, when that did seem to be kind of on the horizon, 
a lot of the citizens in Marathon really, really stepped up to save this place. Well, I know that uh, I was, uh, you know, one of the fortunate ones to have been yes. on the county commission yes. at that time and as the mayor of the county and working with Allison DeFore and a lot yes. of other people mm -hmm. that were here and, uh, you know, getting the project to get going and getting the permits established so we could get the building repaired and get this beautiful uh, program set up here. And so it was, it was fun to be part of it without, with, you know, without a doubt. I was glad sure. I was at the right place at the right time, yes. so to speak. No, I mean, so many people, it, it is amazing how many people were involved yeah. in this and, and without all that help uh who knows what this would be right now no exactly it, you know very back in those days it could have been mowed down exactly you know right. they were looking at condos at one time yes. i think and mm -hmm. all the all sorts of neat stuff that right. they wanted to do well of course that's not what you need here no and you know now what we've got is you know, like I said, it's 63 acres. Uh, about two thirds of that is, is native hardwood. Um, we've got one of the largest uh, concentrations of Florida thatch palm, which is an endangered species. We've got one of the largest concentrations of that in the United States on the property here. Um, you, we've just got countless numbers of species of, of plants. The biodiversity here is wonderful. Uh, if you're into birding, it's a great place to oh, come. Oh yeah, well, Or huge. even if you just want a nice, peaceful walk, it's a beautiful spot. Well, and also I know that, uh, you know, we also do a lot of uh, tag teams with the Dolphin Research Center, uh, Pigeon Key, you know, the Turtle Hospital, all of us together it's kind of neat so people can actually do a tour from one end to the other. We try really, really hard, hard to work together. Um, I mean, we've all got the same goal and, sure. you know, um, be it be it history or environmental conservation or preservation, we're all trying to work together towards the same end. And it's nice for the public to be able to see all those different uh, atmospheres of what we're trying to do here. Exactly. I mean, you, you really you know, can get an idea of, of what the Middle Keys have to offer and what's happened in the past and what we're trying to do moving forward. Well, I know, and I also know that uh, you have a lot of different events here, you know, for example, like when you have the Founders Day and you get the people to come in and behind us here, we have all this open area where they set up tables and they have, uh, you know, food and uh, that type of stuff where people can actually see and be on campus and, you know, and get that feeling. Uh, if somebody wanted to come in and say, uh, get in touch with you to say, hey, we'd like to, you know, maybe do an event here mm -hmm. so that we can help promote the Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, they can reach me at uh, uh, my email address, which okay. is john at cranepoint.net, or they can call me at 305 743 3900. And we're always, you know, we've got a beautiful space here. And if there is some way that we can facilitate a group having an event um, that furthers their cause, but also brings some more people into Crane Point, uh, just again, just to cultivate an interest among more people, then, then we're more than happy to accommodate folks. Now, and also, is there a way, uh, do we have like a website uh, where they can get on to the, you know, take a look and see what the uh, Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust has to offer? Yes, www.cranepoint.net. Uh, that'll tell you everything that we have here at Crane Point. And there's also contact information for myself and for the executive director as well. Fantastic. Well, I think we've pretty well covered everything that you've got going on here, all the events. Uh, you're doing a great job as the operations thanks, manager, thanks. you know, handing on to stuff. And I know you got a lot of work to do, you know, I mean, keeping Always. things going uh, without a doubt, it's nonstop, but uh, this is a beautiful spot. And uh, without a doubt, the public needs to be able to come in and take a look at what we have here. This is really uh, something that's huge. It's really kind of neat. And you really don't want to miss this. Come on in. They're right at the intersection of 55th Street and US-1 at Sombrero Beach Road. Take a ride at the light, as they say. Come into the back parking lot area and take a walk around and see the Florida Keys Land and Sea Trust and the Museum of Natural History. You really don't want to miss this, people. This is unbelievable. And John, thank you very much for everything. Thank you, Mike. Until next time, everybody.